one thing that really stands out is Wednesday nights. Uh, B. Rain would gather all the children after school, the elementary age children after school. My kids were included in that. And just to uh, see the joy that radiated from him and the way that he, you know, inspired those kids was really inspiring to me. And then uh, when everything was finished, all the programs were over and um, the adults would come outside and those two cherry trees outside the fellowship hall would just be filled with children. It was like fruit. And it was just amazing. And the limbs never broke. You think, how can they hold these up? But there was some, there was a parable there or something about, you know, the, uh, the strength of the, the arms of the, of the, the, the trees of the tree of life that, you know, that holds up these, these young children. So that, that was just a wonderful uh, memory that, that I have of, of time there. Another thing that really stands out in my mind is just the beauty of that sanctuary and the sun streaming in through those, uh, stained glass windows, and then just the sound of that glorious organ on a Sunday morning. Is, uh, was, that's just such an inspiration. Um, and then just one other thing, just the, uh, the warmth and fellowship of uh, the Sunday school classes. I mean, that's something that my wife still talks about, um, just how much it meant uh, to be part of such a caring, loving community who really took Bi the Bible and faith seriously and, uh, you know, took each other seriously as well. So the, those are just a few highlights that stand out. You know, God put Westminster there for a reason, um, for a particular ministry. And it's, it's done that ministry well and faithfully over the years. And what you're looking for now is, uh, what what does God have in in mind for for Westminster in a new situation? Uh, so I guess I would just say be brave and courageous. Um, Westminster sixty years uh, that's still a, you know, that's still infancy in the broad history of the church, um, and. Uh, just that we as, as individuals, you know, we change and adapt as the world around us changes. Uh, and we bring the gifts that we've received into that new situation. I just encourage Westminster to, you know, identify what gifts um, God needs from Westminster now in that new and different situation. And um, just, you know, be bold and and honest about it's different now from what it was 60 years ago, about 25 years ago. Um, I mean, even 26 years ago when I left, uh, it was a time of transition, you know, uh, things were changing and um, that change has just accelerated over the last generation. So be bold, courageous and creative. I guess th those are my words of wisdom. Yeah, you know. uh, it's not our church at the end of the day. You know, it doesn't belong to us as much as we love it and you know want to hold on to it. it it's Christ's church, and uh, we're just stewards of it for a, for a very short amount of time.